everybody, welcome back to yet another edition of As Told by Brie. I am, of course, Brie, and I'm super excited to finally do this fully furnished apartment tour. For those who don't know, I live in Atlanta, Georgia. So without any further ado, we ain't even gotta do too much talking. Let's go ahead and get right into the tour. So this is my kitchen. So we'll start over here. So over here I have a whiteboard. I feel like every business person should have a whiteboard. Like this is where I flush out all of my ideas. Like right now I'm playing my vision board party and my scholarship. So uh, that super important to me. Shout out to Aaron On Demand and my friend Sebastian. That is from Target and they definitely influenced me to go get that. It's my stove area, microwave. This is so clutch. Listen, when I'm cooking, this comes in such great handy. I keep my spoons on here, just like these different utensils that I'm cooking with. Put those on there. And then I have this towel. It says this kitchen is for dancing. Then as we move along, I have my sink, you know, pretty standard. I put a lot of my dishes in here. And I, I also store a lot of my dishes in my um, dishwasher as well, so. Yeah, and then I have a chef's table, so it's not so much an island, but it's really just a table. So it's a stainless steel table, and I absolutely love it. It is so clutch, okay? And I think it just makes it look more luxe. Like, I feel like everything stainless steel makes everything look and feel more luxe. So we come here, and we have these bar stools. Now, these I got from Amazon, and if you don't know, let me tell you, I'm officially an Amazon influencer, so definitely look in the description for all of these links and go shop my Amazon store for all things home decor, loungewear, and home essentials. Okay, moving right along. Over here, <laughs> oh my god, I feel like I'm on HGTV right now. <laughs> anyway, over here we have a built-in bookshelf. Start at the top. I have these two ladies that I got from Ross, and then I have this candle holder, which I got from Goodwill, and the candle that's on top of it came from Dollar Tree. This picture frame here is from Ross, and I printed this picture out from Walgreens. The candle holders are from Dollar Tree, and then the candles are also from Dollar Tree. Now, these blocks, honestly, I can't tell you where these are from. These were gifted. So shout out to my girl Lache. She brought these from she bought these for me as a housewarming gift. So shout out to her. And then when we come down here, more picture frames. Like, can you really ever have enough picture frames? Uh, I got two sets of picture frames, mirror picture frames from Ross as well. And then these candle holders are from Burlington. These candle holders are from Good, not Goodwill, Dollar Tree once again. And honestly, it's just two candle holders that are stacked on top of each other. Now, now I, I do this DIY thing for real, for real. I need to glue them together, but for now, they're stacked. And then when we move to the bottom, I did a little paint and sip action. For those who don't know, I went to <coughs> Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University, better known as FAMU on the highest of seven hills in Tallahassee, Florida. And we painted this because he and I both went to FAMU. And uh, yeah, different world types of vibes, Whitney, Whitley and Delane. So that's that. Moving right along. Okay, so over here, we have my bar cart. I have a video on this bar cart, okay? So I can link that in the description box below. But yeah, y'all, like, a lot of this stuff is DIY. Like, if you see this bottle of Douce here, it's just a regular bottle of Douce that I spray painted. This is from Goodwill. This is an old bottle of Sutter Home that I just put some glitter on. These are from Ross. Shot glasses are from Dollar Tree. These cups are also from Dollar Tree. And yeah, like, you can go check out my bar cart video and you will see all the deets on this. The bar cart itself is from Amazon and once again that is linked on my Amazon store. Moving right along. So this is actually so this is actually one of my favorite corners. And hold on, let me turn the light off real quick so y'all can see like the ambiance it gives off. So like if you follow me on Instagram and you ever by the way follow me on Instagram, okay? Brianna J Weaver, okay? So this is where I take most of my pictures, in the mirror right here. If you ever see you take a little mirror pic, it's definitely in this corner. Um, 
the rug is from Burlington's and it looks so much different before y'all. Oh, don't get my toes, don't get my toes. <laughs> so it looks so much different before when I threw it in the wash and it was just totally ruined. Anywho. Um, this mirror is also from Burlington's. String lights are from Amazon. Once again, linked on my Amazon store. And then this picture is from Ross. Y'all will start to notice there's a pattern in my apartment. I love like gray a lot. Like I'm pretty obsessive over the color palette in my apartment. I'm very minimal when it comes to colors. So you're gonna get a lot of gray, a lot of white, a lot of black. So yeah, a lot of gray, white, and silver going on in my living room. So we'll take a step to the left here. This is my couch. This is actually one of the first things that I bought, like one of my first major purchases, not only one as an adult, but secondly, in my apartment. So this is from Rooms to Go, and I love it, absolutely love it. It's super comfy. The pillows are from Ross and Home Goods, and then the throw blanket, which I love because like on one side it's like a white, and then on the other side it's a gray, so it's reversible. You can kind of just throw it, you know, however you see fit, you know, just it but yeah so I love my couch and my picture is from home goods moving along here we have my coffee table and this is actually another one of the first things that I bought like I bought this couch and this coffee table together two years ago about this time in 2018 and I absolutely love it it's definitely a, a piece that you can have for a long time it's marbled and then I kind of decked it out with different magazines, like, I'm all for finding very inexpensive things and making them feel more luxe, like more luxurious. So I found some free things and I put them on there, like a Restoration Hardware magazine. And if you know about Restoration Hardware, listen, you know Restoration Hardware, um, you cutting a check. Anytime you go into their Z Gallery, ain't nothing to play with either, okay? So on top of that, I have like an old Omar Epps book and then this little notebook, it says, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. Matthew 6, 33. So, you know, staying consistent with the gray and white color scheme. These flowers, I actually DIY'd these. These were from Dollar Tree and I just sprayed them. I just sprayed them in gray spray paint. And the, the base and the pebbles in here are also from Dollar Tree. Moving right along these uh, candle holders and candles. The candles are from Dollar Tree and the candle holders are from Ross. Okay. And the chase is actually from OfferUp. And I've been looking for this chase for so long and I finally found it at a decent price. I got it for $100 and it was like, retail was like $300, $325. And be my so the unit itself is from Walmart. I want to say it's a mainstays brand. I can definitely link this down below for you guys. And these vases, I absolutely love them. They're super glam. So if you love glam, this is definitely something that you would like. These are from Ross. And as y'all know, if y'all are frequent, frequent Ross shoppers, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, when you see something, you gotta grab it, okay? And when you see a pair. You definitely have to grab it. So, I love those. All of these little accessories are from Michaels. And if you take a look, it's like these long branches and they have a hint of glitter to them. And then also some pearls that kind of just like add to it. 
moving right along again. <laughs> uh, this big bee is from Michaels, and it was just wood, and I sprayed it in black, not black, but gray. Absolutely love it. And then these are from Goodwill. Listen, don't sleep on Goodwill now, okay? You can find some good custom pieces in Goodwill, because I guarantee you if you find something in Goodwill, nobody is going to have what you have. These little candles are from Dollar Tree, and these mirrored candle holders, I don't know what those are called, but those are also from Dollar Tree. And then lastly, in my living room, we have these ba this basket, and I like this basket because I just, I just think it's so chic, very Pinteresty. and then I just threw a little blanket in there, and then a pillow. Another thing is this candle holder here, and believe it or not, y'all, that candle holder is from Goodwill, and it was had to be maybe a dollar, and I just spray painted it, and then added those candles, which are from Dollar Tree. And then I have my TV, so I got a little escape tracks going, got my soundbar, TV, this is where I listen to music most of the time. Sometimes I listen to music in my bedroom, but nine times out of ten, I'm in my living room. And escape tracks is like, ugh, so fire. It's the home of all things R&B. So if you're looking for R&B, like a good playlist, a good mix, or just try to keep up to date with the latest R&B, definitely listen to this. And let's turn these lights off. These people can really catch a vibe. I know it's super dark, but this is like, most of the times when I'm home at night, this is the vibe that I have going, like super dark, super mellow. I got my R&B going. We can step over here and you can see the lights on the mirror, like very vibey, very mellow, sexy. I don't have any candles going at the moment, but normally I would. So let's take a walk into the bedroom. So this is my bedroom and I absolutely love it. Like. I like to think that all things in my apartment are a vibe. Y'all see I have the LED lights going on the lamps. And I also have this LED light over here. It says Bad Habits. That's from Amazon. And the two lights on the lamps are also from Amazon. If you haven't seen my bedroom makeover video, definitely go check that out. I show how I decorated a lot of this stuff. First thing that we're going to talk about is going to be my bed. As you see here, I love all things black and white, like I said. And my bed set is actually from Wayfair. I can link that down below for you guys. And the pillows are from a little bit of everywhere. Like some of the pillows came with the bed set. And then I also ordered some of the pillows from Amazon. So, moving right along. I love having a good throw. Like there's just nothing like a good throw. You'll notice I have a lot of blankets in here. Like I have one on my couch, one on my chaise, one in the little basket in my living room, and then I have one on my bed. So, I love a good throw blanket. I think it's like cute to just like add a nice touch to something that you already have going on. Now, if we move back, if you have seen my bedroom makeover, then you already know, you should already know about this. So, this lamp is actually something that I DIY. This DIY Chanel base, I made myself, obviously. And then 50 Shades of Grey, Goodwill. And this diamond oh my gosh I love this it's like a life-size diamond it's big Ross so I do a lot of shopping at Ross a lot of shopping at TJ Maxx a lot of shopping at Home Goods so if we look at the wall here I painted this myself <sighs> I wish I wouldn't have done that I should have just done like wallpaper I think that would have been a better bet I could just peel and stuck it right on and peel and stuck it right off anyway so these frames are actually mirrors. So they're the same mirrors that are out there in my living room, but I just threw a picture in here and I just printed it off at CVS. So I have two pictures that I did during a photo shoot. And then this middle mirror is from Target. And I personally don't like to shop at Target. I think the their home decor is overpriced. So these nightstands are from Amazon and I built them myself. And then at the bottom, I just have a little Mac bag just kind of something cute, chic, girly to add to the room. And it's obviously in concept. So these curtains are actually from Amazon. They will also be linked on my Amazon store. And these, these curtain ties I DIY'd. So shout out to Stacia, okay? Stacia Archer. If you're watching this, hey girl. A lot of my inspo for my room came from Stacia, and she made these, and I watched her DIY video, so that's how I came up with the idea. Well, I didn't come up with the idea. That's how I got the idea for that. And then I have this 
light. It says bad habits. And you may not be able to see it right now, but let me turn the light off real quick. Bad habits from Amazon. Yeah, I know I love a good LED light. I literally have LED lights in all of my rooms. <laughs> Bathroom, bedroom, living room, everywhere. Okay, so moving right along. We have my TV stand. And I absolutely love my TV stand, y'all, because it's very similar to the nightstand. Like, I think it's super cute. But I, ironically enough, I didn't get them from the same place. This actually came from Home Goods. The runner came from Dollar Tree. Moving over here, I love a good mirror tray. Okay, I love a good mirror tray. So, I just have a little perfume here, Gucci Guilty. This candle is from Ross. This other candle is also from Ross. And these flowers are actually DIY again. So Dollar Tree and just spray painted them. And if you take a look, if you come closer, you can see that I actually put some pearls in here to kind of give it a little, just a little more chic glam effect. And then I have a little bedroom candy. Shout out to Candy Burris. She has her own line and it actually smells really good. I will say it doesn't last the longest. The smell doesn't last the longest. But it's nice if you're like, if you, I mean, if you know our bedroom candy, then you, you know. Anyway, so moving right along, we have our bottom. And honestly, this isn't really decorated. I just kind of <laughs> house this here. Just a bag from Saks Fifth and then these two candle holders that don't have a candle in them yet. And these two pictures, you already know, Old Faithful, Goodwill. And then this picture, picture frame is from Ross. And this little stand is from Michaels. And then this picture is actually something I DIY'd. I just kind of printed it out from the internet. All right, y'all. So here to my right, we have this big Chanel photo. And believe it or not, this is something I DIY'd. Like this picture frame is from Goodwill, maybe $5. And then with the Chanel picture, I just printed it off of the internet. <laughs> And threw it in here. It's a little marble. It's real cute. Real cute. So moving right along. Here we have another nice stand. So very similar to the one over there. Same lamp, but different accessories. So I got this. What do you call these things? Hourglass from Ross, actually. And this, I have no idea what you call this. This is also from Ross. And then that Sephora box is from, um, I'll take a wild guess. Sephora. So if we come back up here, I have this DIY abstract art piece. I did it myself. I'm not an artist, but I took a stab at it. I think it came out fairly decent. I have a video on that too if you're interested. And then here, I keep my robes in my room. I just feel like it's a nice sensual touch. I feel like it gives it a touch of sensuality. Like I think it's just like, okay, you got your little robes, girl. Okay. And then I got this, uh, what do you call these? I don't know what it's called, but Ross, 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 Ross. All right, so we're moving along into my closet. So in my closet, it's not really too, too much to my closet. Like, it's just a closet. <laughs> but I keep, you know, most, well, actually, I don't keep most of my things in here. One thing I forgot to show you is that my bed actually has drawers underneath, so that's where I keep a lot of my clothes. But I keep some of my clothes that can only be hung in here and then like some of my shoes and stuff like that all right so here we have my washer and dryer it's also in my closet so it's like super convenient kind of just take things out put them up or just fold them up like it's really convenient so, okay y'all so now we are in my bathroom and we're gonna start with a shower so this is where i you know like bathe and stuff so my shower curtain is from amazon it's just a marble shower curtain absolutely love it and then we over here, we have my picture. It says, you are the Coco to my Chanel. That's from Burlington's. And then when we come here, we have this nice large size mirror. Absolutely love it. And the one thing I will say about my apartment is that a lot of the finishes were already black. So it made it a lot easier to decorate in black and white. So, if we take a look at the sink and the countertop, this was actually one of the most fun things to decorate. Like, as you see here, we have a little container, and inside the container we have these black Q-tips, which I got from Amazon. The container is from Burlington's, but the Q-tips will be on my Amazon store, so go check that out. And this three-piece set, so this soap dispenser, 
toothbrush holder and whatever the heck this is. It's all a set. Black marble. And that came from Amazon. Ooh, whoa, I'm lying. That came from Home Goods. And this soap also came from Home Goods. Moving over here to my mirror tray. This is something that's super simple. I bought it from Ross. And I absolutely love it because it's like super chic. It actually came in white and I just sprayed it black, y'all. I really go crazy with the spray paint. If you're not following me on Instagram and seeing my DIY projects, go do that now, okay? And then I just have some white towels, a little perfume that I've had for years. This glam perfume bottle, which is from Burlington's. And then this candle, which I don't use because it's super dusty. And it's just for decoration, which I got from... And then this Chanel picture, this Chanel perfume picture is also from Burlington's. And then, moving right along, back here, we have these two pictures, which I DIY'd. I have a video on those, definitely link that below. And then we have my shelving unit. And really, I just keep like a bunch of knickknacks here. Like, we have towels here for guests. We have baskets, and it came as a three-piece set and I actually found this one um, these are all from Ross mirror tray love the mirror tray um, mirror trays from Ross this candle was gifted to me this candle came in gray spray painted it black this is something that I've had from you for years and then this glam little candle holder came from mm, home goods and then up here we just have this little picture frame which I've actually never put pictures in but it is a picture frame and it is from Ross and then last but not least, let me show this lighting we got going on because we got, we got a situation. Okay, so we got this blue light, which I got from Amazon. It's like a heart with an arrow through it. Listen, Liddy. Okay, I keep it on most times. Like when I use the bathroom, I normally don't keep the light on. I just keep that little blue light on. And then we also have some more lighting going on in here. I have a light in my shower, which is cool a lot of the times too. So, yeah, that is my bathroom, and we're going to move back out this way. But, yes, it was great to have y'all. You know, you always welcome. Sorry to offer y'all a glass of wine or a little water or something, a little snack. But I hope you enjoyed my apartment tour as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you guys and bringing this place together and bringing it to life, having a vision and bringing it to life. Shout out to Pinterest. Got a lot of my info from Pinterest and Ross, TJ Maxx, Hunga's, Dollar Tree, Goodwill. The list goes on. So, I mean, you ain't got to go home, but <laughs> you got to get the, up out of here. So, see y'all in my next video. Like, comment, subscribe. You already know what to do. Bye.